Hey, welcome everybody. I thought I'd do a special video for you guys just talking about how to set up a simple blog using WordPress. WordPress is one of the most popular blogging platforms and it's very powerful. I originally picked up WordPress many years ago and since then there has been many improvements and I would definitely recommend it as your content management system for blogging. So what I want to do in this video is just show you how to set up a simple blog similar to this one and the actual looks of the website can change so don't get too tied to that. So for example a lot of blogs will have over on the right they'll have their bio with an image of themselves talking about what they're into. A lot of other bloggers will have a more visual home page. All of that is possible with WordPress and it doesn't matter what your blog is about if it's about cooking or if it's about coding in this case or if it's about making money online whatever it is it's possible with WordPress one of the great things about WordPress though is that there are a ton of plugins for WordPress so you don't actually have to worry about coding yourself because more than likely anything you're ever going to want to need to do in WordPress has already been done at some point so that's what's cool so in order to create a WordPress you first need to get self hosting so a lot of bloggers when they first start they will use what's known as wordpress.com so that would be wordpress.com and I actually don't recommend this because what this is going to do is it's going to make a website under this wordpress.com version of WordPress and what we want to do is we want to create our very own website so this one is calebcurry.com and it has its own little favicon here and it's a completely custom website I can do anything with it so this is only possible if you self-host using what's known as WordPress.org. So those are the two differences. Those are the uh, two different versions of WordPress. The one I highly, highly recommend is WordPress.org. It's going to give you the most flexibility and the most capabilities. So just because we're going for the more complete version doesn't mean it has to be complicated because a lot of web hosting companies the place that you're going to run your website off of they will set up WordPress for you automatically so you don't actually have to go to wordpress.org all you have to do is go to a hosting company and they'll set it up for you so the one I would recommend is Bluehost and here's a short link that I created and if you use this link it will actually give me some kickback a bonus for having referred you. Uh, that's another cool thing about Bluehost is that if you refer people you can actually make money just by teaching people how to create websites. So that's really cool. So the cool thing about Bluehost is that it starts at a really cheap price and it has what's known as a one-click WordPress install. So what that means is you literally don't have to do anything. <laughs> you just click install and it's done. So the first thing you do is you click get started now. And here you're going to get some different plans. And just to make sure you clearly understand what you're getting yourself into, there are two parts to building a website. The first is the domain. And the domain is literally just what your website addresses, so what people type in to get to your website. The second part is the hosting. So the hosting is where these files that create these web pages are stored and what computer that this website is being ran off of. So the hosting is the part that actually costs a lot of money. Usually the, the domain is like 12 bucks a year or in this case it'll actually be free for your first year. So the, the prices here are specifically talking about what it costs to have your website ran by Bluehost. One of the options on here is basic. Obviously the recommended version over here is uh, a little bit better. If you have the financial resources to pay for this, then I would recommend that version. But it definitely isn't going to hurt getting started with the basic version. And yeah, you're probably thinking, wow, $5.95, that's not a huge, <laughs> huge cut of money. But the thing is, in order to get these best deals, you have to pay a lot in advance. So I'm going to go with the uh, $3.95 version, the basic version. And just so you guys know, there is a 30-day 30 mon money-back guarantee. If for any reason you don't like their hosting, you can, you can get out of it and get your money back. So we'll just go with this here. So now what you need to do is you need to type in the website address that you want to register. So I had a website idea basically talking about how visionaries or you know entrepreneur-like people can 
make steady income online. <laughs> because if you guys know anything about visionaries, they often have these crazy ideas and they have a hard time, you know, keeping jobs. And <laughs> so the website I have as an idea is steadyvisionary.com. And there's all kinds of different uh, extensions you can use here if you're interested in any of those. In general, I recommend .com, but if not, it's not the end of the world. You can always try one of these other options, such as .blog. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is click Next. Now here's where you're actually going to fill out all of your information, and just wanted to call out some of these features at the bottom under this uh, Package extra section. Some of these, uh, you can get them if you want, but I, I would say they're usually not required. One that I would recommend though is domain privacy protection. So with, with web development, there is something known as a Whois lookup, and anybody can go to this Whois website and look up who registered a domain, and it will give all the information about this person, including their address which obviously you're not going to want to just throw your address on the internet for everyone to see. So with this domain privacy protection, you can have it replaced with the, the Bluehost name and address. So I would highly, highly recommend you get the domain privacy protection. It's something I have on for all of my websites and definitely recommended. Once you have filled out all of the information, make sure you click this button and read all those goodies <laughs> and then click submit. Next thing you want to do is create a password. All right, great, so we have an account. Now we can log in and create our WordPress website. So click log in. The next thing that shows up here is an option to choose what theme you want for your website. So this is pretty cool. You uh, technically don't have to do this right away. You can uh, choose it later, but let's just look through this and see if any of them spark my interest. I like this one. Oh, that one's good too. They kind of look the same though. Let's do this one. So you will get a note up here and essentially it's saying that once your website is ready, it will automatically go to steadyvisionary.com or whatever your domain is. So once you're ready, click start building. And there you go, you literally set up WordPress, simple as that. So you can actually go up to this welcome button and open this visit site. I'm opening a new tab and here's your WordPress website. Obviously you can see that it looked a lot like the one I originally showed you, but there are some slight differences, but definitely very similar. So to just talk about some of the different pieces of your website, you're going to have this recent posts section and that's automatically going to update with your latest articles. There's currently one right here, hello world, which is being shown right here. Next thing is we have recent comments. So if anybody comments on any of your articles, they will uh, show up here assuming you do any approvals or anything needed. Once they're live on your site, they'll show up here. Archives essentially organizes all of your historical articles by month. So it's September 2018. So if I click this, it should bring up just the, uh, the Hello World article. And then going back, the last thing on here is the categories and the only category of articles we have is uncategorized. You can uh, use categories to organize your articles into distinct groups. Lastly, there's some other stuff, this meta stuff. This might be useful, but right away you're not gonna be using this. The RSS part will come in later if you wanna do like an automatic newsletter, and you can also log out and do all that other stuff here. So let's X out of this and go back to the dashboard and um, I'm just gonna teach you guys how to do some of the most basic things. First thing you're going to wanna do is check out this posts button. So this is where you actually create your articles and you can see a bunch of stuff in here. Um, basically, these notes or notices are from different plugins and it's asking you to do things or asking for uh, you to set things up. You can go back and do any of those and I'll talk about how to do plugins in a second but I just wanted to show you here is that Hello World article that showed up on our website and we can just click edit on that just to see what it looks like inside of the WordPress editor. This is where all of the WordPress magic is going to happen. Um, you can just X out of that. This is a very intense editor and it's very powerful. It's very simple, but it does take some time getting used to if you're used to just writing articles in Google Docs or Microsoft Word. 
So there's the capability to add these blocks in different types of blocks. It, it does take some time getting used to, but once you have the experience and the practice using this editor, it's going to be a lot easier to make articles. If I type in here, I can click update, and that's going to update the article on our website. So once again, if we visit our website, you can see our note right there, hello. One other cool feature is if you start typing here and the, the editor will notice you've made some changes, up in the top right, it'll actually auto save if you pay close attention. Right here, auto saving, boom, done. So that means you can actually edit your articles in here and you don't have to worry about your internet turning off and losing years and years of work. <laughs> some of the main capabilities are you can add an image using this button and you can upload an image or go from your media library. Once you start adding a bunch of images, you can reference them in there. Or you can make headers by clicking this plus button and clicking this heading. And you can set different sized head headers depending on how important they are. Uh, you can do text alignment over here. And there's just a lot you can do. Just give it a try. Uh, I might go into more detail, but for now I want to go into the plugins. So over here on the left, if you click plugins, and I didn't do anything important, so I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I don't see a need to save. Scrolling down, one of the ones I wanted to show you on here, and this is by far one of the most important, is the Akismet anti-spam. You definitely, definitely want to have this enabled. Now, one thing is if you activate this, which obviously it's gonna be fine being activated, this is, in general, this is a, a, a product that is free for non-commercial use. So if you are using your website for commercial purposes and doing it as a business, you'll actually want to go to the Akismet website and sign up for a commercial license. So what that does is it will automatically check comments and it intelligently decides if a comment is spam or not. And unfortunately with WordPress, you're going to get a lot of spam comments. So that is a huge important <laughs> plugin. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, before you go in and create a bunch of articles, you're definitely want to go, you're going to want to customize your website a little bit, and you can do that in the settings button by going to settings general. Here you can set your site title, steady income online. Cool. And then the next thing, you can scroll down and see some other capabilities, but nothing too important. The main thing you need to do though is go to this permalinks button on the the left and decide how you want your links to show up. So by default, it's going to have the date that you posted an article in the URL. So if you wanna see that in action, if you go to your website and click on an article, you can see that it was posted on this date. Personally, I, re I don't recommend having the date in the URL unless the content is really tied to a particular date. So if you're doing like a news website where you're regularly going to be posting content tied to events in real life, then I think the date there is fine. But for SEO and just in general, you want to get whatever the article title is as close to the beginning as possible. So this date really doesn't add anything and I would recommend getting rid of it by just switching to post name. One thing about this though, is that when you do this, all the links with the dates are going to break. So we'll see what happens when we save these changes. And then I go back and I do a refresh. You can see there's a page not found. So obviously the thing that you wanna do is you want to change this at the very beginning before you create a bunch of articles. Because once you have a bunch of articles, you're going to have to basically take this URL and redirect it to without the date. And that is totally possible. It's easy to do, but um, out of the scope of this tutorial series. So I just recommend you just start from the beginning by changing your URL structure to get rid of the date. Another thing I wanted to talk about is this pages section on your website. So pages are very similar to posts and it's kind of confusing whether you would want to create a post or a page. But in general, pages are going to be bigger and more prominent on your website. So often when you go to a website, there will be a menu and you'll have different pages available to choose from. 
So we're going to be talking about how we can sort of set up the look and feel for a website so we can create room for that menu and start creating pages and articles and everything like that. So actually there's a shortcut right here, create your menu here. <laughs> so this is gonna take us to the menus section and it's really easy to create a menu. Uh, you can see there is the home and then a sample page, which that's going to be available in the pages similar to the hello world in the post. So that's good for now, just click create menu. So let's go back to our site. And you can see it didn't show up. So what is going on here? Well, what we actually need to do is we need to go to this customize on our appearances, click that, and then click uh, menus, click view location, and cl under primary menu, click menu one. All right, and then click publish. Going back to our site and giving it a refresh. Um, I see no menu. <laughs> All right, so there you go. The, the menu's up here when you scroll down. <laughs> Sample page. It was uh, hidden there for me, <laughs> from me for a minute. All right, and there you go. That's how you create a simple menu. But obviously you can customize that by going back to um, the settings and the appearances and customizing it right here. Um, there is one other thing I wanted to show you before I go, and that is by going to this Bluehost thing and clicking home. And you can see it says launch your site. Your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. So if you are ready to launch your site, you can go back and click launch. Once you launch your website, you can always go back and edit and make more articles so it's not permanent. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect either. What I recommend is you get your site launched as soon as possible. Hopefully that gives you guys a good start to WordPress. Now I would like to do more content on WordPress and just blogging and making money and all kinds of stuff like that. So please leave me a comment in the comment section below just saying what you would be interested in seeing, the challenges you've faced when you try to create blogs and anything else you would like to say for upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching. Any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out the description which will have some useful links for you guys. All right, peace. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>